And up next, we thought for a moment that all dragons are extinct. Ladies and gentlemen, you are clearly mistaken. Five Ascension Rangers have been challenged by five dragons, and it all boils down to this. That's right, it's a five-on-five five brawl. After the dragons were invaded by Ascension, Ascension was called out by the dragons, and now it's a five-on-five five brawl. Who is going to win? The following contest is a five-on-five five brawl. There are no countouts and no disqualifications. The only way to win is to eliminate your opponents, either by pitfall or submission. And Supreme Ranger is already in the match. And now, ladies and gentlemen, in comes one of the dragons. Oh, my lord. With a body slam and submission move. And, ladies and gentlemen, oh, one of the dragons just got eliminated. In comes the punch. In comes the stomps by the dragon. And a body slam. And now, Supreme Ranger just got eliminated. Stomps by Sakudo. Ladies and gentlemen, Sakudo's in control. And a body slam by Sakudo. But wait a minute. Interference with punches by one of the dragons, ladies and gentlemen. Another body slam. And now, Sakudo's been eliminated. Eliminated. Here comes the Mermaid Queen, ladies and gentlemen. And now here comes another dragon. Body slammed by the dragon, ladies and gentlemen. Three times, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my lord. And now punches by the dragons, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, what an ultimate tackle. And now here comes Iron. Iron going for DDT. And now here comes the last dragon, ladies and gentlemen. Punches by the dragon. And body slam, ladies and gentlemen. Submission move all the pressure to the legs. And ladies and gentlemen, body slam again. And, and ladies and gentlemen, in comes hell. What a tackle. Body slam. And it's over. <laughs> Here are you witties, the dragons! Wow, now that came to us out of nowhere. I did not expect the dragons to actually pick up a win here tonight. But then again, these dragons train in a very specific, aggressive style of each discipline, which makes them even more dangerous both inside and outside the ring. Be cautious, Ascension. Yes, and if the dragons themselves aren't dangerous enough, their new leader, the Dragon Queen, will be stepping into battle up next versus the Jungle King in the This, ladies and gentlemen, is no handicap fair. Jungle Ranger versus Arceus and Arceus. After Arceus and Arceus were invaded by the Ascension, Jungle Ranger is now in for it. The following contest is a no handicap bears match set for Winpa. There are no countouts and no disqualifications. The only way to win is either by pitfall or intimidation. And the No Handicap Bears match is underway. And ladies and gentlemen, looks like Arceus is going for punches, ladies and gentlemen, to Jungle Ranger. And oh, what stomps, ladies and gentlemen, by Arceus. And oh, oh what an ultimate body slam, ladies and gentlemen. And now here comes Arceus. And ladies and gentlemen, oh, punches. And now they're both exchanging blows. And now, oh, what an ultimate body slam tackle two times. And now, ladies and gentlemen, oh, an elbow strike kick to the gut, ladies and gentlemen. And now another tackle body slam. And now stomps as well. Looks like he's going for a chair. And remember, no rules. And now Stomps, ladies and gentlemen. Body slam. Oh, my Lord. Stomps again. And it's over. Here are you winners, Arceus and Arceus. Looks like Jungle Ranger 2 is also having some bad luck as he got destroyed by the twin dragons Arceus and Arceus. Such bad luck and to make matters worse, this is the first time in ARX history where all dragons pick up a victory. How shocking is it? And if that wasn't bad enough, the Jungle King himself has just been rushed to the hospital where he will be treated for injuries thanks to that steel chair shot sent by the dragons. And don't forget ARS fans, the action is just warming up. We are going to take a quick commercial break and when we come back we have more action heading your way. So don't go away, we'll be right back. I am the best magician in XR Raid. My name is Iris, not Papyrus. I have scars everywhere on my body, my arm, my leg, and face. Why are you asking for me to crush you? 
Brigadier's Forty, I come for the booty. Arrgh! Open, smash into bones, King Bats, the King Bats die. Yes, me amor. Get me out of here. Axe Emerges X Elimination Chamber premieres this fall on the FBO in your pay per view. Want to watch it for free? Go to youtube.com. We'll see you there. What seems to be the problem? When I say buenos dias, me amor, you say buenos dias, me amor. You understand? Rude. ARS fans, welcome back to Lockdown, the night where ARS goes extreme. And so far, things have been a bit too extreme, especially with the dragon being involved with the matches we've seen. But then again, ladies and gentlemen, the action is still far from over. Now, earlier tonight, we got a chance to speak with a couple of fighters that are competing up next in a 5-on-5 brawl. Take a look, ladies and gentlemen. What? So this is the space colony arc. Destroying an entire planet. Oh. Hello, my lord! In come the mermaids, and ladies and gentlemen. Oh, well, and that was a vicious attack by the mermaids, and now, oh my lord, one of them is stomping with the poachers, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, well, looking at the situation right now, looks like now is the perfect time for mermaids who want a piece of the poachers. Will they get them? Well, that, my friends, is the real question. For the week contest is a 5 on 5 brawl, simple and brawl. There are no count outs and no disqualifications. The only way to win is to eliminate your opponents, either by pitbull or submission. And the battle begins, ladies and gentlemen, and what the tar is gonna happen here. Oh my lord, a body slam by one of the mermaids, and now submission move, all the pressure to the legs and the neck. And now in comes another poacher, ladies and gentlemen, and now, oh, what claw attacks, ladies and gentlemen, and stomps as well. And now one of the mermaids just got eliminated. Mermaid number three comes in with stomps, and now one of the poachers just got eliminated. And now claw attacks again, and a body slam by the mermaids. And now one of the poachers, now they're exchanging blows, here comes another poacher. And I'll punch this, ladies and gentlemen, by the mermaids. And a tackle! But now, ladies and gentlemen, claw attacks, ladies and gentlemen. In comes another poacher. But, ladies and gentlemen, in comes the mermaid. Body slam, ladies and gentlemen. Another poacher eliminated. Now, now, claw attacks. And now they're exchanging blows. A tackle, and it's over. Here you winnies, mermaid rangers. What a night it has been for the mermaids. First, they attack the poachers backstage and then they finish the job in the ring. An impressive and absolute nightmare if rangers plan to swim with the fishes. Especially with these mermaids. You do not want to mess with them, ladies and gentlemen. The bottom line is that the mermaids picked up the victory, poachers get destroyed and filleted, and there will be no fish on our menu tonight from Chef Ramsay. But now, ARX fans, even though Team Culture got their rear ends whipped by a couple of mermaids in the 5 on 5 brawl, the culture leader himself is ready to get his rear end rearranged against a new gen, and here we go. The following is a parking lot brawl, and it will be a no holds barred match. There will be no count outs and no disqualifications. The only way to win is by people with a mission. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, it's a parking lot brawl, and here we go. And now punches by the poacher, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, what a tackle to Scarecrow. And now he's throwing punches and stomps, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my lord, another stomp, another tackle, and a body slam by Scarecrow two times, ladies and gentlemen. And now punches by Scarecrow. And now it's poacher throwing punches. Another tackle two times. And now submission move the pressure on the arm. And a body slam by Scarecrow. And now punches again, and it's over. <laughs> Easy parking lot bro, we need Scarecrow! 
Well, ARS fans, while the Dragons achieved victories here tonight, the Poachers, on the other hand, they can't, the same cannot be said for them as they suffered the worst defeat so far at the hands of a Yeti and five mermaids. Sucks to be them. And even though these were XRA Rangers, we still have to give them props, though, for them at least trying to put up a fight against the Ascension Heroes. Now, if only they trained well enough to pick up a victory here tonight. Oh well. Yeah, well, then again, they can deliver the food to the audience, but then again, XRAs will still have to live to fight another day.